hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber you're welcome and to all my old subscribers i'm so grateful for all you do taking out time you know to subscribe and actually watch my new videos each time they come up i say thank you love you guys so much so in today's video i would actually be trying out um some counter products I got because I have always used the counter leave-in conditioner as my leave-in conditioner but then due to my hair texture okay my hair texture actually has a um, very little shrinkage very little shrinkage so this is it it doesn't bounce so much as compared to other um, hair textures that you know so um, today I'll be talking about, um, you know, some of the products I got. So this is my Cantu Living Conditioner. I use this alongside my oils, but I use the one in Argan Oil, but I actually got this one in Shea Butter. You see, this is actually a mistake. A friend of mine helped me get it and she got it in shea butter. I have no other choice than to use it. I used this shea butter earlier when my hair was growing and um, I actually enjoyed it then but somehow I think something maybe went wrong with the product or is it my hair? I don't know why. I noticed that it flakes when I use this uh, particular shea butter. So to prevent that, what I actually do is just to put coconut oil in it before I use it. So this keeps it from flaking. Um, so one of the products I got to incorporate alongside the leave-in conditioner is the... So guys, one of the products I'll be incorporating into my hair today is the Define and Shine Custard. So this is the Cantu Define and Shine Custard. They said uh, it delivers brilliant shine and a perfect hold. So I'm hoping that I can achieve that. Uh, it says no mineral oils, sulfates, parabens, silicones, sweetalates, gluten, paraffin, or propylene. So it's an all natural product. Uh, my favorite part about this product is actually the wonderful fruity scent it has with a blend of coconut in it. Uh, the viscosity is actually not so much which makes it um, a bit difficult to handle so you need to be careful when handling it so uh, you don't end up wasting your product or it doesn't end up pouring because it's actually very easy to pour so here in the directions it says apply to soaking wet hair in small sections smooth each section with fingers beginning at the root and work towards the ends for additional moisture and curl definition Mix with counter coconut curling cream or curl activator cream. So yeah, I decided to uh, um, go for the Cantu coconut curling cream. So this one defines, moisturizes, and helps strengthen strands. So what I want to achieve is definition in my twists and to have a well-defined twist up when I get rid of the twist. So this is the coconut curling cream guys this is what it looks like and i used both of them you know apart from my leave-in conditioner and i'm hoping that when i get rid of uh, my twist you know i will be able to get the desired definition that i need for my twist out so guys um let me know if my twist look defined enough because i didn't actually do it myself a couple of salons you know started off in the neighborhood so i decided to try them yeah that's another reason why i'm doing this video because i would like to try them out to see how well if you know if you know <laughs> they can actually handle natural hair around here because sometimes i've always had it in my mind that only me can really handle my hair the way i want because i actually enjoy handling my hair myself even though sometimes it can be tiring it can be exhausting but i prefer doing it myself but this time around i decided to entrust it in the hands of someone else to do it for me 
So in the video, I'll be showing you guys my sudden experience. Let me know if you think my curls, um, sorry, my twists actually look defined. So it's actually in the side part and the center part too. But today I'm rocking it in the side part. Well, you guys should let me know which is better in the comment section whether the side part or the center part i was actually a little bit indecisive oh my those bobby pins sometimes they tend to stick in my hair you need to be careful so this is the center part which she doesn't look so much like a center part because the line is actually not so straight because we started with a side part before i told her i wanted a center part and so we ended up doing both so just let me know what you think this way or this way or pulled to the back which is preferable yeah well i'll show you guys how to actually style these twists in my next video so guys just stay tuned as i show you guys how my salon experience went thank you guys so this is me at the salon and i'm getting ready to start twisting my hair i actually washed my hair late last night because i knew that i wouldn't have so much time today because i have an event later in the evening i also used uh, some of my treatments which i will leave in the description box for those of you who are interested I believe all of you are interested so I decided to mix my define and shine cream with the Kanto coconut uh, curling cream to get the perfect definition for my twist and also my twist out so before I twist my hair I like to saturate it with uh, a lot of uh, water and also leave-in conditioner uh, before I twist I also section my hair Make sure that I detangle it properly and comb it if necessary before I begin twisting the hair. But here, obviously someone is doing it. I'm trusting that she will do a good job though. And um, you can see the way she's handling it. But one thing I actually enjoyed about the salon experience is the fact that she wasn't rude. She was actually uh, willing and open to learn and you know she's she was actually fun too so um i would definitely recommend her and the salon to anyone who is interested in having a salon experience with them so one of the treatments i had last night was my onion treatment which i had as for <laughs> sorry guys which i had to treat breakage and hair loss I haven't been so nice to my hair uh, since after the lockdown and I apologize for that and I decided to pamper it this time around so I did the onion treatment and I also did the aloe vera treatment so for my protein treatment I decided to do the avocado protein treatment and then I used my onion and ginger a mixture of tea tree oil for my rinse out so i will definitely give you guys a guide and the full recipe on how to go about this to get uh, successful results and what you want so at this point we were actually trying to find the best size of the twist that i would prefer of course i don't like sitting so long to make my hair so she told me that the smaller one is actually not going to bounce but the bigger one is going to give me a more bouncy look which is uh, how it is supposed to be with the natural hair when you twist your twists are actually supposed to
finally guys we are done last day <laughs> the feeling of last day it is just priceless finally i can get up and go to my house i am tired my butt hurts well yeah we're done and i like it she did a good job actually you guys should let me know what you think about the twist yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and uh don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll be giving you guys more details about my hair journey so we're just going to use the lock and twist gel at the tips and we're done